For quarterback Neil Lomax, a chance to bury the doubts and questions with team success in a year of personal glory. For wide receiver Roy Green, a payoff for all the countless pass routes and spectacular touchdown grabs. For strong safety Leonard Smith, a reward for several grueling seasons as the last resort on defense. And for head coach Gene Stallings, out to win his biggest game against his mentor across the field, Tom Landry. For the St. Louis Cardinals, victory today means the playoffs. The Cardinals win. They will go to the playoffs. If they lose, the Minnesota Vikings go as a wild card. And good afternoon again, everyone. I'm Dick Stockton. Yesterday, when the Cardinals landed at Dallas-Fort Worth Airport, the Vikings were in front by 10 points, and there was dismay around the Cardinals. When they got to their hotel, the score was tied, and then suddenly eruption on the seventh floor of the Cardinal headquarters when the Redskins won in overtime, giving the Cardinals a great opportunity. And Terry Bradshaw, it must be terrific to go into a situation knowing that if you win, you're in. I was down on the field when the Cardinals came out on the, to warm up, Dick, and they were screaming and hollering, barking like dogs, full of emotion. I thought, I, you know, I flashed back and I said, you know, they can't, this can't last forever. Emotion like that will drain you and wear you out. Neil Lomax is the key. He has to remain calm. I believe he will. I think the Cowboys are also glad that the Cardinals have a shot because it makes their game more important. They knocked the Rams out of the playoffs last week. They're trying to do the same with the Cardinals this time. Hey, if I'm going to go down, I want to take you with me, right? Last week they took the Rams with them. And now today the Cowboys say nothing better. We like it because if they lose, they lose something. We're not going to make the playoffs, but they can if they beat us. We're going to take the Cardinals with us. We're going to beat them today. Four-man line, Ed Jones, Kevin Brooks, Randy White, and Jim Jeffcoat. The linebackers, Steve Diossi is starting an outside linebacker. Jeff Rohr at the right linebacker and Ron Burton in the middle. Walls and Francis the corners. Vince Albright is the strong safety and Michael Down. Gets the call and picks up about five yards on the play. Steve Diossi and Ron Burton make the stop on Mitchell. St. Louis offense, Ron Wolfley, who's going to the Pro Bowl, starts with Mitchell. J.T. Smith and Roy Green also with the wide receivers. And up front, the line looks like this. Sharp, Pete, Kennard, Smith, and Judy Robbins. And Robert A. Walt, the tight end. First down, just shy of midfield, J.T. Smith. And with that reception, has broken his own club record for catches. That's his 81st of the year. Manny Hendricks makes the stop. Good. Out of the shotgun. Lomax fakes and will run and will be close to first down yardage as Lomax is knocked out of bounds in Dallas territory by Vince Albright. He'll mark the ball at the 44, and he may be a yard short. Here's a big early play. And they go to Mitchell, and he's got the first down. So the Cardinals going for it on fourth and inches get the first down with ease, and they're down and nine. Victor Scott and Robert Williams in extra backs for Dallas. Check is tight in for a first down and barrels for more and is knocked out of bounds at the 21-yard line by Manny Hendricks, and he was wide open. An 18-yard play, and the Cardinals are still going. When Burton, 57, the linebacker and the safety, coming up inside, blitzing Lomax as Novacek just comes out and makes a little down about out eight yards and gets the catch. One of the things that the Cowboys do not want to do today is blitz Lomax with their safeties and linebackers. Coming up, talk about ball control. Lomax on third and five, up the middle, and off the hands of Roy Green. He was there, and the pass was thrown a little bit too hard, and the Cardinals had an opportunity to get up on top. The pass, a 32-yard attempt. Flips out hold. Del Greco's kick is good, and the Cardinals with a tremendous exhibition of ball control on the first series, use up more than five minutes and lead the Dallas Cowboys in the game they must win, three to nothing. At the 15, Steve Pallour, the quarterback. And he's got his man just shy of the 25-yard line. The pass was complete. 
Freddie Joe Nunn, who has 11 sacks, along with Bob Clasby, Steve Alvord, and David Galloway up front for St. Louis. Anthony Bell, Nico Noga, and E.J. Jr., the linebackers. Carl Carter and Cedric Mack, the corners, and Leonard Smith and Lonnie Young, the outstanding safeties. And is the 30 brought down by Leonard Smith and Edwards and Mike Renfro the wide receivers Darrell Smith Nate Newton Tom Rafferty Crawford Kerr and Kevin Gogan Smith and Gogan are rookies and Doug Cosby the veteran tight end this time Walker finds a hole off right tackle and gets to the 35 yard line maybe beyond and a gain of about five yards on the play Making the stop for the Cardinals, two men in the secondary, Carter and Young. Down in five at the 36-yard line. They send Newsom in motion. Kalur up the middle. He's got Cosby, the tight end, close to first down yardage with his forward progress to the 41. Leonard Smith and Nico Noga on the stop. Two tight end formation for the Cowboys. They're on the 41-yard line. They go to Herschel Walker and Walker may have the first down. The Lord got hit, but he completes the pass nonetheless to Renfro. Carl Carter was all over him, and they'll spot the ball at the 47-yard line. Big pressure from the middle by the Cardinal. For St. Louis, Galloway re-injured his left arm after being sidelined. Since preseason. Third and five, and Pelour's pass to Cosby is off his hands incomplete. And covering on the play was Tim McDonald, the nickelback. And it'll be fourth down. And coming in to punt for Dallas will be Mike Saxon. Lomax against pressure hits Troy Johnson. Johnson still going and has a first down for the Cardinals as he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 33-yard line by Vince Albritton and Manny Hendricks. And that was good for 14 yards. Set with the wild card roll. Third and 10 Cardinals. Lomax, J.T. Smith has the first down to the 45-yard line. Hendricks on the stop, and Smith knew exactly where he had to be and makes the catch for an 11-yard pickup. He's in a row this afternoon. Cardinals on their own 48. Yeah! Lomax with a lot of time, and it's intercepted by Everson Walls, and Walls brings it back into Cardinal territory and is tackled at the 31. With a lot of time, finally turns around and gets the ball to Awal, who's sandwiched between two linebackers. The ball pops up and lands. Merry Christmas to Everson Walls. Hello, there it is. Thank you. Vince Albritton made the hit on Awal, and for Walls, that is his fifth interception of the year, and he leads the Cowboys. And tack on a 30-yard run, and Dallas now threatening. Herschel Walker with Newsom blocking. May have another first down for the Cowboys. Close to the 22, Lonnie Young makes the stop on Walker, who is going to the Pro Bowl and leads the NFL 32. Carl Carter knocked him out of bounds. Malur getting rushed. He can run and gets tripped up at the 15. Freddie Joe Nunn tripped him up. To go in the first quarter. And this play, this communication, and Malur may have the first down anyway. It was intended to be a handoff, and Lonnie Young made the play and the Cowboys may have yet another first down. Third down and an inch. And Pelour. Let's see if the Cardinals stopped him from getting that inch. The spot will mean it all right here for the Cowboys and the Cardinals. Herschel Walker up the middle.
11 yard run for Herschel Walker, his sixth rushing touchdown of the year. By Timmy Newsom, fullback Rafferty, as you can see the center going, blocking back, and then Newsom getting the lead block on the linebacker, no one left, and Walker with the great power and absolute speed gets into the end zone. Today it is an interception, but first the touchdown by Herschel Walker. Walker scores. And the Dallas Cowboys lead the Cardinals 7-3. Second down and nine. Lomax has Novacek and is knocked out of bounds. Close to the first down by Steve Diossi. Novacek had a touchdown against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Prior to his injury, had caught the most passes by a tight end this series, and that's why Danny Noonan is in there. Third down and one for the Cardinals. And Stump Mitchell has the first down beyond the 40-yard line. They very key series for the Cardinals and you will hear that mentioned a lot today for me because it is that every time they have the football in their hands it the spread they call it and up the middle and nearly intercepted by Everson Walls Roy Green was the intended receiver and that'll bring up fourth down and that was not one of Lomax's better passes bowl appearance you bet it's a holiday lineup exciting college ball action on CBS Sports Lomax unleashes and the pass to Roy Green and a first down into Cowboy territory good for 15 yards and that's the second catch of 15 yards Green has made today there are a few quarterbacks and receivers will run routes this deep it flag down Lomax Novacek incomplete all Britain covering on the play but a penalty marker down at the line of scrimmage 28 Pelour with time and he's got his man Kelvin Edwards complete at the 48 for a first down, a 20-yard pickup to Kelvin Edwards, who did not catch a pass against the Rams last Monday night. Herschel Walker in the Cardinal territory and a first down. He picked his spots beautifully, picks up 11 yards to the 41 of the Cardinals. Cardinal 41. And Palour will carry, chased by E.J. Jr. Palour bounces off a couple of defenders and gets close to another Dallas first down. He's fun to watch, Steve Pelour. Two, 3.35 to go in the half. Here's Walker again. And E.J. Jr. makes a fine play and a loss back to the 38-yard line by Jr. Here comes the blitz, and Pelour gets rid of it and has Kelvin Edwards for the first down inside the 20. Cedric Mack on the stop, 21-yard pickup. Time to throw to Kelvin Edwards. Good tight coverage by Cedric Mack, but Edwards coming back for the ball. First down, and here's Herschel Walker to the 11. Gain of five, each of them. Herschel Walker, open spaces, he'll get there. with two 11-yard touchdown scampers and Gene Stallings has a problem. Off Walker. Fine job by Daryl Smith. Offside tackle as he comes out, gets the lead block, allowing Walker with the great sprinter speed to get around the corner and into the end zone. But motion, all the momentum, all the adrenaline that's positive seems to be in the Cowboys side of the football field and not the Cardinals. Early, and Herschel Walker has been the man of the hour. And It'll be interesting, Terry, with three timeouts for the Cardinals to see if Lomax can get his timing back and get his team in position for a score. He'll need a first down, otherwise Dallas may get another opportunity. And the pass caught by Stump Mitchell, and the crossing route was there, Terry. And a first down, stopping the clock with 1.19 to go. A pickup of 14 to the Cardinals. 43, and Ron Burton made the stop. All the, re all the respect that Smith and Green going for Troy Johnson. Penalty marker down, and Johnson was defended by Downs and by Robert Williams, and a flag is down. They call pass interference on both people. Two or three timeouts remaining. Lomax this time going for Roy Green, and Green has it and goes out of bounds. Another 
crossing pattern situation and a first down just inside the 20. Manny Hendricks knocked him out of bounds, a gain of 24. Everyone's got to be on the same page here. This is a critical down. Lomax to Green and Downs brings him down at the 11-yard line, shy of a first down, but the clock stops at 32 seconds and St. Louis has called its first time out. Here, a good way to finish it off. Third and one. Lomax pressured and the pass loaded incomplete and Troy Johnson and J.T. Smith crossed in the end zone and they were defended there and that was a free ball. Could have gone to anyone. Defense number 26. First down. Oh. Michael Downs holding and an automatic first down for the Cardinals. Lomax to Wolfley out of bounds at the two-yard line. 23 seconds remain. But these great receivers and all these crossing routes, I gotta look for a pass. Second and goal at the two. And that's what they'll do. Lomax has fifth touchdown, St. Louis. He beat Manny Hendricks. And J.T. Smith has caught his eighth touchdown pass of the year, and the Cardinals have come back. Is this a big game? If we win this game, the Cardinals go to the playoffs. Look at this. You bet it's a big game. Stalin slapping that play board up alongside his thigh. Yes, sir. Well, they didn't want to disappoint me, and they didn't. No, they didn't fumble as time runs out, and that is the end of the first half at Texas Stadium. With the score, the Dallas Cowboys 14, the St. Louis Cardinals 10. We're back here at Texas Stadium with the Cowboys leading the Cardinals 14 to 10, and this is a big one for the Cardinals. They trail, but did you uh, get any indication in that two-minute drill when the Cardinals scored their touchdown that this may be the way they'll be in the second half? I think finally they got totally isolated on the job at hand and, and forgot about all the distractions and the importance of this game and played Cardinal football. And that's why I said this is a drive. I'll be disappointed if they don't go all the way down. Have the edge in the numbers. But the reason why the Cowboys are in better shape would be the two turnovers. Time for Dallas. The lure up the middle has Herschel Walker with his first catch of the game and a first down. E.J. Jr., the stop at the 44. Second half in the spread offense. away and a fine play by Gregory Johnson downfield they had deuced him out of the backfield but Johnson was there Fake, two of them Lomax in trouble and down he goes Danny Noonan and that's the first sack of the game by either side chance for a return here but he stumbles and is knocked out of bounds by Anthony Bell a 32 yard kick and after the return of seven yards the Cowboys will start out in good field position beginning from their own 44 for Denver if they lose throws a monkey wrench into the whole, the whole AFC score second and six Pelour is hit it is an incompleted pass. Leonard Smith had blitzed, and he was in the motion of throwing, and that'll go as an incompleted pass thrown by Pelour. Third down and six Cowboys, just shy of midfield. No scoring in the second half thus far. Pelour bobbled the stop momentarily, and Timmy Newsom, the intended receiver, can't hold on, and... Gregory Johnson defending on the play, and it'll be fourth down, and so the defenses have held, and the offenses have not gotten on track thus far. All right, Brent, second down and nine for the Cardinals on their 27-yard line, and the pass caught by Roy Green, and a first down at the 46-yard line, a pickup of 19. All Britain makes the stop, and he's gone to Green when he needed the big plays today, and it's worked almost all the time. Green with five catches for 81 yards. Lomax incomplete. Roy Green, the intended receiver, and Everson Walls covering. So the Cardinals get to midfield, and that's all. And 
Greg Horn will come in to kick it away with 7.48 remaining and so far a scoreless third quarter. before he gets to the 10 and a gain of five. Ready Joe Nunn and E.J. Jr. involved on the play and Walker now has 98 yards rushing and taking his time getting up. Walker breaks a tackle or two and has a first down as he slices it out to the 18. Leonard Smith making the tackle. And a first down for the Cowboys on their 18. Winding down to six minutes remaining in the third quarter. Play action and a good fake by Palour. He's got Thornton Chandler, the tight end, and he is out of bounds. A couple of yards shy of a first down by Anthony Bell. In fact, he might have picked up nine on the play, and now Chandler is shaken up. Serious. Once again, let's look at his right knee. Now, his left knee is the one that appears to be hurt. Looks like it acts, someone falls on his leg. I don't know if it's his leg or his knee now after looking at it from that angle. Cowboys have had three linebackers all break legs this year, all by their own players. I certainly don't wish that on this young man. No. Second year tight end out of Alabama and obviously in pain. Newsom appears to have enough for the first down at the 30-yard line and making the tackle. Leonard Smith and Carl Carter. Dallas with a third and seven on their 34. Ballour with a lot of time and Walker. The pass was just not there. Walker was open and Tim McDonald was defending. And that'll bring up fourth down. The first down on their 36-yard line. Here is Scott Mitchell. Hits on the burners and gets to the 41. A gain of five. Mitchell with... Three straight games of 100 or more yards, and that ties the Cardinal mark set by Otis Anderson. And $60,000, if that was the case. Mitchell has the first down and an extra yardage as he gets into Cowboy territory. And a first down, he picked up 12. So Stump Mitchell has 55 yards rushing on the day. Michael Downs and Vince Albritton were there. 2-12 remaining, and the inside hand to Ron Wolfley, the fullback, getting the call, and Wolfley to the 43-yard line, picked up three. Steve. Third down and five for the Cardinals. On the 41, Lomax overthrows Novacek, and Ed Jones came storming in on Lomax. Elliot on contact, number 36, defense. Vince Albritton, and so instead of fourth down, the penalty, be, penalty by Albritton will give the Cardinals a first down on the Dallas 36. When Lomax made that punt. Contract, 36 defense, first down. Lomax, G.T. Smith, and he's got it for his ninth reception of the game. Short of a first down by about seven yards. He's got it at the 32, a pickup of 12. Robert Williams and Vince Albritton on the stop. And there's the gun, and that is the end of the third quarter with the score. Cowboys 14, Cardinals 10. Lomax trying to get to Troy Johnson, and a flag is down. Manny Hendricks defending on the play, but a penalty marker thrown in the secondary. Again, the Cardinals beneficiaries of secondary penalties. They were the first touchdown drive. Let's see if they capitalize here. Mitchell hit by Noonan and is down to the 22-yard line. J.T. Smith fighting for first down yardage. That is his 10th catch of the game. 90 on the year. Manny Hendricks making the stop. Most of the pallet passing of the Cardinals today has been directed at Manny Hendricks. The little hits, the reason they throw that is because Hendricks is off, giving lots of room to set up this play. And it's Stump Mitchell diving, appears to have the first down. 
showcase. Third and five, Roy Green in there, and the pass might have been tipped at the line, incomplete, intended for J.T. Smith, and the Cowboys hold. And Neil Lomax is furious. Eight, and bring the Cardinals closer. Holding his split stop. And the kick is good. And with plenty of time, 12-14 remaining in the fourth quarter, Del Greco's kick brings the Cardinals to within a point of the Cowboys. He's going up top for Herschel Walker, and Walker has it. And out of bounds at the 35 of St. Louis. The middle linebacker, the Cardinals, man for man on Herschel Walker. No way in the world can you cover him. And as you can see there, wide open is Herschel. Nice throw by Pelour. First down, Cowboys. What a distinction for Herschel Walker. First and 10 at the 34 of St. Louis. And here's Walker on the ground. And Walker becomes the bulwark. Close to a first down. Lonnie Young making the stop inside the 25-yard line. And a gain of 11, so it is a Dallas first down. 0.8 yards a carry. So the numbers indicate Dallas may be in good position here. They lead. Here comes the safety blitz, and the handoff is to Walker. Walker to the 15, and the 10, and another first down, out of bounds. Cedric Mack and Lonnie Young, and the Cowboys threaten to score a TD. Third on second and 10. Up the middle goes Walker to the 5. Nice play action. The offense take over. Ball is at the five of the Cardinals. And there's a bootleg, and Kalur will score for Dallas. And that fooled everybody. with Walker in motion, the underball handoff. E.J. Jr. says, I've seen this play before early in the game. I'm going to tackle Walker. Pelur keeps the ball. There's a trail by eight. Lomax in the shadow of his goal line, throwing. Roy Green has it. And a first down and knocked out of bounds by Everson Walls at the 31 and a pickup of 21. Of Herschel Walker. Walker moves, E.J. Jr. chases. Also, E.J. Jr. has containment, meaning he has to stay home for any reverses. The reverse was run by Zone on the air. That was a good play. Stump Mitchell trying to get outside of Michael Downs. is pushed out of bounds and picks up about seven yards or so. They've already used one timeout this half. First down to the 46, Manny Hendricks on the stop. And what a game for Smith, who has caught 11 passes for 101 yards. Second and 10. Lomax up the middle, and the pass is caught for a first down by Jay Novacek, the tight end. And now the Cardinals are moving in Dallas territory. Pickup of 11 and a first down to the Dallas 42. walls three men back there I'm sure the fans who were watching in St. Louis would be screaming for a penalty the official was downfield with them and now there's the one step green has there's the right hand on the shoulder pads a second before the ball got there either way if you want to call it you could call it if not don't they didn't it's at the 42 out of the backfield is Stump Mitchell breaks a tackle has a first down and more at the 25-yard line by Vince Albrecht. A 16-yard pickup, and the Cardinals moving the ball. Under seven minutes to play now in the fourth quarter. Ball at the 26. Mitchell trying to get by Diossi. And gets to the 21-yard line. Gain of five. 
It's all Britain and Steve Diossi in on the play. And they're in field goal position and they need two scores, trailing by eight. Lomax going for green, incomplete. Walls covering. And that'll bring up fourth down. 50 attempts for Neil Lomax today. His club record is 52. So the man now, the moment, is Al Del Greco, who has kicked field goals of 32 and 28 yards, and now will try his longest of the afternoon, 38 yards, to try to bring it under a touchdown. Holding his stop. Greco's kick is good, and he's three for three this afternoon. And what a pickup from the Green Bay Packers a month ago. Al Del Greco and his 38-yard field goal has brought the Cardinals to within 21 to 16 of the Cowboys with 5.33 remaining. And Terry, they got something out of that, and now they need a touchdown to win the game. That's right. They needed two scores. They needed one touchdown and either another touchdown or a field goal to put them and to give them the lead in this football game. Now defense digging in. Here comes the blitz and Palour's pass is nearly caught by Rod Barksdale. He got behind the defense, Lonnie Young, and if he had held on to that high pass, he would have been gone. Palour. Fourth down and Saxon will kick with 349 remaining. By Sikahama, who's dangerous, is deep for the Cardinals. Sikahama will run this one into Dallas territory and tripped up. He was tripped up, otherwise he would have gotten more. And the crowd, Ron Burton made the stop. Cowboy 39, they need a touchdown to win. Anything less won't do. Lomax has Ron Wolfley out of the backfield. Pickup of nearly nine on the play. Super Bowl. They're playing better than anyone again. Third and two Cardinals. Stump Mitchell. First down and more inside the 25. And now the clock becoming a factor with two minutes and 40 seconds remaining. Lomax pitches to Mitchell. Downs is back there. And there goes the throw, and it's nearly picked off by Victor Scott. An ill-conceived play by the Cardinals that could have wound up in disaster, and a penalty marker is down and around the line of scrimmage. I don't believe that was a pass-run option, Dick. Number 67 on the offense, illegally downfield. Louis Sharp, the left tackle, illegal on 19. This is it. This is what this season is all about for the Cardinals. They cannot afford another snap over their head, and Lomax and Ruther have to be thinking about that. Lomax says under the center. Yeah, he doesn't want to take any chances now. Third and 19. Lomax, sack. Jim Jeffcoat back to the 40-yard line, and the crowd here may be the smallest in 23 years, but they're on their feet. 27 and J.T. Smith is out of the ball game. He's not in there. Crowd is wild. Lomax going up top. Roy Green is there. And it's knocked away incomplete by Manny Hendricks. San Francisco on the road in the wild card game next week. Neil Lomax had a great year personally, but for the Cardinals, it came to an end today. That's it. The Minnesota Vikings make the playoffs.